activating magnetic souls. Captain Solano should be here momentarily. You'll have to forgive me, I don't know much about Koblihads. But my understanding is you need a steady supply of Doridium to keep your cell structure stabilized, or bad things start to happen. And we have plenty of Doridium in sickbay, so there's no risk of running out. Thank you. Feel free to make yourself at home. And help yourself to whatever you like from the Replicator. We'll be out there soon, going where no one has gone before. He's still got a thing for trains. The warp engines of their day, apparently. Just a sip of something. Rack the Gino. That sure has a kick. Jara Rydeck. Last time I saw you, it was graduation from the Academy. You'd already secured one of the most prestigious assignments possible. And you were burning with enough ambition to fuel seven trips around the Necrot Expanse. It's good to see you again, Captain. I could not be happier to have you on the Resolute. My only regret is that we couldn't provide you with a warmer welcome. The arrival of a first officer to her new ship Serves a bit of fanfic. But, unfortunately, we've had our hands full with the refit. That would be totally unnecessary. I don't need any pomp and circumstance. You've been here all of five minutes, and already you're trying to make us more efficient. I like it. As I'm sure you've heard, we've had a rough go of it these last six months. The ship suffered some damage, but not nearly as much as the crew. I heard that you had an equipment malfunction. Is that what they're calling it? No, that's... that's just someone being generous. If anything, it was a leadership malfunction. 
We were on the verge of a major scientific breakthrough. A quantum leap forward in warp core technology. 10,000 teradynes per second. The ability to travel at a sustained rate of speed longer and faster than we ever dreamed. What would have been the crowning achievement of my career? Right there, within our grasp. <sighs> Until it all went so horribly wrong. We pushed her too hard, and a warp core malfunction overloaded the system, creating a pressure gradient way beyond what the ship could handle. <sighs> it was heartbreaking. We lost some of our best people. As captain, I have to take full responsibility. It was my decision to make, and I have to live with the consequences. You're being too hard on yourself. It wasn't your fault. It's not a question of blame. It's about responsibility. No matter what the circumstances. In my defense, I will say, I might have avoided the whole ordeal if my senior staff had been willing to trust me. There was a lot of pushback from my former XO. I, I think that cost me his confidence. I don't want you to pull any punches. Certainly not on my account. But once we decide on a course of action, I need everyone to fully commit to the mission. Anything short of that just won't work. And that's when things start to go sideways. Whether I agree or disagree, I can promise that I'll be honest to a fault. Good. That's exactly what I'm looking for. But at the end of the day, it has to be my call. Look, I'll be blunt. We can't afford another mistake. Or at least, I can't. I feel like my career is hanging in the balance here. We need a win. Something to restore the crew's confidence. I understand. On a more positive note, Starfleet has tasked us with what they're calling a mission of the highest priority. Escorting a senior diplomat to Hotari space. Two previously peaceful and otherwise non-aggressive civilizations now find themselves on the brink of all-out war. So it's a peacekeeping mission. I see it as a golden opportunity to not only prove what the Resolute and her crew are truly capable of, but also a mission for which we're uniquely qualified. This ionic storm. Our long-range sensors suggest it's several orders of magnitude stronger than anything on record. A total anomaly like nothing we've seen before. You'll never guess where it leads. Hatari. Exactly. Very nearly in the precise location where we're headed. Where I imagined the interference will be exponentially greater. But the diplomat will brief us on the details of the rendezvous. Who is the senior diplomat we're escorting? That I don't know. Starfleet hasn't said. But I don't want to get ahead of myself. I expect we'll have some rough sledding when we arrive, so... I need you to prepare the crew for the worst. There's just one more thing I want to clarify up front. A metric that, for me, will be the ultimate measure of your success. What is it? If, after serving as my first officer, you don't one day find yourself with a ship of your own, then I will consider it my personal failure. When that might happen is entirely up to you. But it goes without saying, you have my full support. It's been a dream of mine since before I can remember. So I would be honored to become a captain someday. As long as you're willing to do the work, you have my promise. I'll do everything in my power to see that it happens. Thank you. Come. Let me introduce you to the crew. <laughs> 